Jackson from Boss Lady News. I'm out here with Hip Hop Real Estate at the Juneteenth celebration here in Boston's Franklin Park. This is representing Roxbury, all of Dorchester, Manapan, and all of the different residents that live here in the area. We want to show you how we get down and how we celebrate Juneteenth here in Boston. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. that's, that's how they do it. You came out today, Juneteenth. What does Juneteenth mean to you besides the family and everything else going on? What else does it mean to you besides all the party and having fun? Uh, Juneteenth means um, the revolution of my people. And a lot of people don't know what Juneteenth is. They're just out here cooking out, celebrating. But the real uh, celebration behind Juneteenth is uh, the slaves did not know they were free um, until I don't know how many days later, but I know they didn't learn until days later and that's why they're they celebrated Juneteenth and that's why it's called Teenth because they didn't know the exact day they were emancipated from slavery and that's why I'm here celebrating my people because if it wasn't for them I wouldn't be here as a free woman enjoying life. You hear that lie right? <laughs> that was dope I like that. All right, power to the people. Hey we're out here today with Dieter Weeder and Romero. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing good how you doing? I'm doing wonderful how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? Yeah. What brings you guys out today? Well, I mean, I was born and raised in this city. I'm out here every year. Um, you know, it's just a good occasion, you know what I mean? All the colored people out here, all my black people. See my man's shirt right here, you know what I mean? For colored only, but everybody's out here, man. We got all the Puerto Ricans out here, you know what I mean? Dominicans, all the white people in the building, so it's just a joyous time, man, for the hood. A lot of times the Roxbury's on TV, it's for bad stuff. And this is, you know what I mean? This is good shit right here. That's very true. So you, you've got this shirt that says, for colored only. How do you, I like I really do. How do you feel about wearing that today? I feel proud. It doesn't mean just one color, all colors. You know what I mean? So we are united now. So we can make it work all together. But if they want to separate us and make us just colored, then hey, this good time is for colored only. Are you a rep from the Boston NAACP? The president of the Boston branch. How do you feel about today's Juneteenth celebration? I think it's, uh, it's exciting. I know this is happening all across the country. It's a celebration of our, our liberation, our emancipation, uh, the, the notification in the last towns in Texas that we were free. Um, it's a reminder of how much work we still got to do. How can people get in touch with you if they'd like to find out more? We'd love to have them. We're located in the Mall of Roxbury, right down uh, in, in, in Roxbury on Warren Street. And then they can always call us. We're listed, Boston and NAACP. We're here with Uncle JG. How are you doing today, Juneteenth celebration? I'm good at the Roxbury Homecoming celebration. Yeah. Just happened to be on the Juneteenth week. How are you today? I'm very good. What brings you out today? Well, you know, I love it when we get uh, people of color together and there's no trauma. We got all generations from the babies to the grandmothers to the great grandfathers out here. And you can see what a great thing this is because even the knuckleheads, when the older men stand out, there's no issues because they, they seem to police themselves because they see real men out. Yeah. And, and that's what we should do on an everyday basis. We're, we're saying that the men should come from outside your house, sit on your porch, sit on your steps, let these kids in the neighborhood see you, and, and that way we can make a difference in this city. Yes, this is a great example of all generations coming together and respecting yes. each other. Yes, yes. Great, great example. Beautiful day that the good Lord has uh, provided us. We've seen everybody here from politicians. There is the NAACP Boston chapter That's president, right. Mr. Michael Curry. Seen police officers out here. I've seen that. There go Mr. Tito Jackson walking behind. So, so we have such a great, uh, diverse crowd here in Boston. It's Boss Lady Britt Johnson. I'm here with Miss Gloria Fox representing Hip Hop Real Estate. And we wanted to get a chance to talk to you here at our celebration. How are you doing today? Besides everyone that wants your attention. For the record, 
I'm State Representative Gloria Fox, yes, and I represent the 7th Suffolk District, which is basically Roxbury, a part of the Fenway, all the way over to Audubon Circle. And this is Roxbury Day. Yes. Roxbury up at Franklin Park, a part of Juneteenth. Roxbury is an unbelievable place to be today and every day. And Juneteenth just enhances it. This is Roxbury homecoming. So this is a reunion for those of us that live in Roxbury, those of us that come back to Roxbury because they've moved somewhere else. This is our reunion. And we naturally draw people from all over the world. There are people that I haven't seen in a while that have been outside of the country and that have come back for, for the reunion. So this is a blessed day. It's never an altercation up here, never any violence up here. This is a family day in the black community, and it's wonderful. I just came back from Biloxi, Mississippi, and you know we celebrated Juneteenth down south. But we have to remember it here in Boston as well. Thank you so much for stopping You're and talking welcome. with us. You're welcome, and thank you. Everyone. We're over here with a couple of the younger generation that's also enjoying the celebration. What's your name? Dana. What's your name? Nina. Have, is this the first time you guys have come out? No. No? Are you having fun today? Yeah. yeah. What's your favorite part? I don't know. Is it the food? Is it walking around? Seeing all the people? Seeing all the people. Yeah. What do you like about today? The food. <laughs> And I got a chance to speak with Jerome from The Bunch. How are you doing today? I'm tired. Yeah. I'm tired. I heard you're the president here. I'm the president of The Bunch. And you've got quite an array of food out here. It looks awesome. Yeah, we do this every year. Every year? Every year. And how do you feel about the celebration today? Well, some of the celebration is lost because everybody's having such a good time, but they forget about Juneteenth. Uh -huh. um, so we try to remind people, you know, what the, what the, the occasion really is okay. um, and another thing it's it's a good occasion for all these people from Roxbury to get together you know all the people that you see out here actually grew up together so and this is the time of year that we get to say hello okay. you know, the guys in the bunch we actually played Little League Baseball together wow. yeah so that's it we come a long long way I'm here with Mrs. Posey John and Jerome's mom, and I just wanted to ask her how she feels about this event this year. I feel so good about it because it seems as if there's more people here than ever before. And I, everybody's enjoying themselves so much, and they're just having so much fun. And I am enjoying myself so much just watching the people have fun. And how is this celebration, how is this for you? This celebration is for me just fine. It's for the young, old, and, and everybody uh, can participate in this affair. And it's really uh, an affair that is, everybody seems to just love each other and just do, you know, just have fun. Just have fun, and it's, and it's really a nice, nice thing. Thank you. We got a couple more people here from The Bunch. Can you give me your name? My name is Marie Posey. Marie Posey? and Virgil. Now, he said to go ahead and let you do the talking about this food. He's got two plates of food in his hand. Yes, all the wives of the bunch do all the cooking and all their family and friends. So it's a celebration that they do every year, celebrating all the black people that are free from emancipation. So we all contribute and we all come up here and have a wonderful time, food, dance, all that. And God bless Andy. That's my lifetime friend, man. I like what you got going on and keep it up, brother. Keep it up. Lifetime partner. That's my guy, man. He see me grow up, you know. So God bless everything you're doing, brother. I like it, okay? Man, this is hip-hop real estate and we going all the way in around here. We got fried chicken. We got kids. We got black people. We got black people everywhere getting along. Ain't no shooting. Ain't no, stat, ain't no fighting. None of that. So this is what it is. This is what it need to be. All right? God bless everybody and stay black. Special about today to each one of you. It's a good, good opportunity to see a lot of old friends. You know, it's a positive, positive uh, event, which is good. It's always good to have something positive in the city of Boston. You know? Nice to come back to the old neighborhood. Absolutely. So you're you're not currently still here? No. Where'd you move to? Sutton, Mass. Oh. Originally Roxbury. Okay. Born and raised in the city, but I'm all in Western Mass. Born and raised in Roxbury, but okay. you know how to get out.
Oh, I love it. I, it's like a family reunion kind of thing. So it's good to see family and friends getting together after so many years and enjoying themselves on this nice day. Just to touch on what he said, it's about family and friends. So are any of you guys homeowners? Yes, I'm a homeowner right in Dorchester, right in the heart of Dorchester. Born and raised in Dorchester, and I remain there. I'm in Sutton, Mass. I, I like I like the peace and quiet. Okay. I'm a homeowner right there. I'm a homeowner out in Western Mass. Western Mass? Yeah. Yes, I currently own three homes in Massachusetts, so I love it here. Well, let's hear it for TJ Dawson, the best DJ, and one of the best. We have Courtney Boston here too. <laughs> Pete Austin, thank you very much for that for that time. We love our community. We love the city of Boston. Let's continue to celebrate our community and let's protect our children. No more murders in the city of Boston. God bless you. We still here, don't you forget it. Oh Hip Hop Real Estate. Nice. Hip Hop Real Estate. Nice. Hip -hop Real Estate we in the house. Why should we be outside? Let's go, T. Lawson. The reason why we came out to Juneteenth is just to be with the people. It's a great day, a beautiful day to be out in Roxbury, to see friends, to see family. Um, it's just a beautiful day, just kind of kick off the summer. This is our first time out here, so we're just happy to be here. What do you guys know about Juneteenth? So I know that it's like the whole celebration of the end, the end of slavery. So, you know, we're out here just to say hey, you know, like anybody else. How do you feel about what's going on today? Excellent. You see everybody, you meet everybody, it's a nice day. Very good. Good feeling. Good vibe. How do you feel about today, Juneteenth, man? Man, this is fabulous. This is the first time I've seen this many black folks together all in one room. It's unbelievable. I'm having a great time. So what do you think about what's going on here in Boston, Juneteenth? I think this is a great thing. I'm Nicole Max from Maximize PR. This is awesome. The love, the unity, and I'm just really proud to be here. And I thank you for doing your part, Carrie. Okay, we out here at Boston, Massachusetts, in Rockford celebration of Juneteenth, and I got some young ladies around the way that I've been known for a very long time, and they're looking good. So, how y'all doing today, and how y'all feeling being out here at Juneteenth? Feeling great. It's happy to see all of us together, all, you know, united, me and my girlfriends, family, you. But it's a beautiful thing. Black people uniting, getting along, networking, you know. This I mean, is how Boston should always be. How many times you been out here, Juneteenth? Your first time? No, of course not. My grandparents have, they actually are on the committee. And they've started right. this, uh, I've been actually coming for about 10 years now. You guys, you've been in Boston on your lives. Is this your first time or you guys come here more than once? We come here annually every year to attend this festive event. What's so special about Juneteenth? Just seeing everybody that you know and it's just like one big happy family. We're here with Deb Goldberg and Tito Jackson. Tito, Deb, we out here and it's a beautiful day, family, everybody's out here cooking out, having a good time. What does Juneteenth mean to people? And I think more people should get more educated what Juneteenth means. On you, Deb. What, what Juneteenth means is when we really freed people, not, not when supposedly they said we freed people, Freeing people means making sure that they're truly free, not just making a statement. What about you, Tina? What's your take on that? And I would say Juneteenth and Roxbury Homecoming, uh, one, celebrates freedom of, of our folks, but also Roxbury Homecoming celebrates everybody who's from Roxbury, the berry, not the fruit, uh, coming back together and really celebrating what we meet, what it means to be a community. This community is the proudest, one of the proudest communities in the whole city of Boston. Um, and actually, Roxbury is the center of the city of Boston. And as goes the city of Boston, actually as, as goes Roxbury, we'll go to the city of Boston. And we're on a move and we're on a rise, just like hip hop real estate is. Just, just look around. Everybody's so alive. 
This is such an exciting day. My husband grew up down the street across Blue Hill Avenue. I grew up driving through here, being here, being with my friends here. And when I look around and see old people, young people, all coming together, just a community, it makes me thrilled and proud to be from Boston. Y'all heard it live in Boston, Roxbury Celebration, Juneteenth. We having a good time out here, and uh, the night ain't over. It's gonna be going all night long, and I'm out there give me some food, have some fun, and I suggest you do the same. Well, I know how you get down anyway. <laughs> Let people know that how we getting down in Boston, how we come together as a family for Juneteenth. Well, this is one big, huge family reunion, and if anybody out there that knows about family reunion, you know what it means to get together with your people, have some food, play some cards, have a little uh, soft drink, of course, but just catch up and make sure that those connections stay strong. And that's what we're doing here today. Everybody's just reacquainting themselves or getting closer with each other, and that's what we do. See, things are moving so fast now that people are starting to get further and further apart. It's events like this that pull everybody back together. So what do you know about Juneteenth? The day the slaves were free. Wow, how old are you? Eight. Eight years old, you know a lot more than so many people that I know. Thank you for answering that. That was, oh, she's good. See, I'm talking, that's what I'm talking about. Thank you, guys. No problem. What do you think about the festivities and celebration, and what do you know about Juneteenth? Um, I think this is a great opportunity for black people to come together and celebrate, you know, the, the history of slavery, um, when the slaves were freed, and actually when the slaves uh, found out that they were free, which is what this Juneteenth celebration is about. And hopefully more people will become educated about the, the day of Juneteenth instead of just coming out and fellowshipping and, and having a cookout, which is great, but we want to make sure that we're educated in our community as well. Yo, you know what it is, hip-hop, real estate. I love my fiends.com. Juneteenth, we up here, man. Boston, it's a good look out here, man. Come up here, man. Franklin Park, we doing this every year. Y'all know what it is. Peace, love. Head grease. <laughs> Watching hip hop real estate at OG. You already know what it is. Peace.